Yes, I'll get started on today's topic. Uh, g'day everyone, DJ Darks here. Just wanted to catch up with you guys, see how you're doing. I haven't done a couch chat in a long time, aside from the one about meeting uh, 1048 or Toshia. Um, I haven't done one of these in months, and I feel like, you know, before I go back to Australia, I want to start doing stuff like this regularly, or get into the habit of doing stuff like this, just so that there is still regular content coming out, things for people to see, things for people to comment on, things to fuel discussion. So, today I wanted to touch on a topic which um, has been plaguing me quite a bit. Um, not so much because of playing 2DX, but just because of the videos that I've been making. Now, as you know, um, I've got a bunch of tutorials up now for 2DX, talking about technique, talking about setups, talking about... Uh, different mindsets and things like that and I get a lot of replies from people talking about things like technique or their setups or things like that and they say things like oh okay that I've tried this technique I've tried a lot of the things that you've spoken about in these videos and it's it's not for me you know I so I go back to my four finger play which I feel is more free and I sort of go, oh, okay, um, how long did you try and do this for? And they're like, oh, I tried for like an hour and then I gave up. And that's the point I really want to bring up today. Um, a lot of people ask for advice or a lot of people who uh, try and seek out advice, I feel sort of have this idea that it's, it's a one, one change, instant remedy sort of thing. Like, as soon as you change your technique, you'll be doing 12s in no time. <laughs> and um, it's just a, a really terrible thing to see overall, like when someone just expects that changing one small thing will make a massive difference to their play. I will tell you now from personal experience that technique changes are really, really tough to do. And the only way that you can actually get consistently good at playing a certain technique is by practicing it hundreds of thousands of times, or hundreds to thousands of times. Um, I could not play with my thumbs at all. And uh, when I started, I went, you know, is this stupid? Why would I need to use thumbs when I can play so much better using double claw? And I can understand where most people come from, where they say, it's more comfortable for me to play this way. So I'm going to play this way. Because I, I was exactly the same. Like, before I got my JKOC, I always played double prong. I didn't really see why you needed to work your thumbs in. And, you know, gradually I sort of realized if I keep playing like this, if I keep playing just double prong, I'm going to hit a massive wall. Um, you know, I can see why this is wrong. There's so many combinations I can't do using this technique and um, I, I just wanted to point that out like even though you feel like sometimes your technique is fine and it will get you where you need to go it's kind of like uh, how can I put it it's like using a tool the wrong way and having it work for you and then realizing down the track it's it's not going to help you out or it's, it's ultimately going to detriment you. If someone is giving you advice to change that tool or to alter it in some way, then they're probably right. And even though it hurts you at the start, and I always say this, like when you start to change things, obviously you're going to do worse. And it's going to stay that way for like a week or two because it's something you're not familiar with. You know, you're relearning something. It's not like it's going to snap back instantly and make a whole bunch of sense. Like, as I said, when I started playing with thumbs, it took me a good two to three weeks to start using them consistently. And I was playing a lot at that stage. So it just, it really comes down to having to, as the title says, persevere with the choices that you make. If you change your green number down by 10 points because someone advises to do it, stick to it don't don't just give up when you say oh i'm hitting much much worse like i i know for a fact like i've been through that a lot of the players who are giving you this advice have been through these things and they they wouldn't tell you this stuff unless it is very significant and unless these changes would actually help you in the long run 
So the main thing I want people to consider from this video is when you make a change, uh, understand that it is going to hurt you at the start. Like it, it's just like any any change you make, it's going to be painful, it's going to be difficult, but in the long run, it will help you if you persevere with it, if you keep at it. You can't just expect instant results. 2DX is not a game with with easy shortcuts, with ways that you can cheat or with ways that you can get good really fast, unless you do those two things. You have an open mindset, you listen to people and what they say, and if you keep at changes that you make, like if you're making a positive change, and it's it's a good one and it's going to help you then you should stick to it honestly um i don't know what else i can say on top of that just try and stick to the changes that people give you or the advice that people give you um on that topic i did want to mention like for example it's interesting we were trying to tell a friend of ours yusuke in tokyo that you need to play on like heavier setups because um, if you don't play on at least like a hundred grams, you can't feel when the keys come up and it's hard to time like at the high level, it's really tough to time on light setups. And we got into this debate because, um, he said no and Exagon as well. He also said no, but, uh, when we met Toshia and we spoke to him and Toshia said, oh, um, yeah, you, you have to play on heavier setups, not, not light setups for 2DX. It's very important. Um, suddenly Yusuke started playing on light setups because Toshi told him to. The thing is, like, I, even though I'm, I'm not a top ranker level, Matt's not a top ranker level, we do at least have enough experience to give credible advice on the game. So, as I said, like, if, if someone gives you advice and, yeah, you, you take it and then you don't do anything with it and you just sort of go, okay, I, I, I've got that advice, that's nice, and then just try it once and then give up on it then yeah you're not really exploring the game to the extent that you should be because as i said like they're not going to give you that advice if if it wouldn't help you so i guess the the main thing to take out of this is listen to what people say and if someone is recommending changes to to how you're approaching the game then it's definitely for the better and you should probably stick to it and that, that's the main message I want people to take from this video today. Like, that's that's the main thing. But other than that, yeah, like, just, just keep playing. Keep practicing. And above all else, just keep enjoying the game. If you're not enjoying it, and if, you know, the changes get really frustrating and you're just hitting walls and you can't really change, take a break. As I said, take a break. Don't... Don't, like, keep pushing yourself if you're mad or upset, because it's just going to hurt your idea of the game. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. Even, no matter what level you're playing at, even if you're, like, from the very beginning up until the level that matter, like, even, even players like Phoenix are still learning new things every day about the game from other people. So, it just goes to show you how far, like, this game goes. It's not just, you know, start to finish. There is basically no end to this game. So, listen to the advice that you get, and apply it, and stick to it. Persevere. It is one of the most important things that you can do. Anyway, well, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and yeah, if there's any other topics you want me to cover, I am more than happy to talk about them. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. See you later.